Welcome to Arvin and Megan Create. If you're new here, my name is Megan and my husband is Arvin. Today I'm going to be showing you how we make our plant-based granola. So we're going to head over in the kitchen in a second and I'll show you all of the different ingredients we use. It's pretty simple to make. There's a lot of different ingredients, but you can use pretty much anything that you have in your pantry that you think would taste good in a granola. And I'll just show you the basics on how to construct a granola and then how we cook it. And I'll show you the finished product. So let's go over and I'll show you the ingredients first. I realized I said this was simple and then I like proceeded to put all of the ingredients for our pantry on the counter, but I promise you that this is simple. You don't have to use all of these ingredients. It's just the stuff we had in our pantry that I really enjoy using. So I'll show you everything we use. I'll show like the basics that are important to a granola and then we will start adding this all together and cooking it. So I like to put almond milk in our granola. This is a homemade almond milk. I A few videos ago I did a recipe on how we make our almond milk so I'll link that below and then I also like to put peanut butter and cinnamon we've got some Himalayan salt down there you could just use sea salt too I've got some uh, maple syrup we're in Canada so we like to use our maple syrup and then in this big jar here this is really important to making granola is uh, rolled oats so you need some rolled oats to make granola and then over here we've got a little bit of unsweetened coconut and some hemp hearts i like to add a little bit of steel cut oats too we've been trying to use the steel cut oats up because i like the rolled oats so you don't have to add steel cut oats but i don't mind the flavor in the uh, I don't mind the flavor of the steel cut oats in the granola and then we're gonna also use some pumpkin seeds there some chia seeds now these two containers so this one is our almond meal from the almond milk so when we make the almond milk the leftovers kind of from the the almond milk after you squeeze it out is this almond meal so we're gonna throw some of this into the granola today just to add just so we don't waste the almond meal. Oh, hello, we've got a little helper over there. Our kiddo likes to come and help us. You like cooking, don't you? We've got pumpkin over here. I like to do uh, a plain pureed pumpkin. Don't get like the pumpkin pie filling. Don't make that mistake. It's got like a lot of sugar and spices in it. I just buy the plain pureed pumpkin. So over here we've got Brazil nuts, golden flax seeds, we've got some pitted dates, pecans, almonds, and that concludes our big assortment of granola items. So we're going to start by mixing the flax egg. Now, every single video, I seem to make flax eggs, <laughs> and it's really important to have flax seeds when you're doing any sort of plant-based cooking. I will say this again and again, but golden flax seeds, there's like darker brown flax seeds, they all work really well. We just buy the golden ones and you'll need them to make any sort of binders in plant-based recipes. Definitely a staple in a plant-based lifestyle. So I grabbed out a container and then our grinder and I'm just gonna take a tablespoon. I'm gonna do two flax eggs in this recipe. So I'm gonna do one scoop, two scoops, and then I'll grind this up and I will show you what it looks like combined. So I'm gonna combine these two with six tablespoons of water. So I'll do the six tablespoons in there and we'll grind these up and then add the flax seed as well. just put in the water and we're gonna mix that up this will get a lot thicker in the next 10 minutes so we're just gonna wait for it to thicken up now that this is mixed up we're gonna start on the chopped nuts 
I grabbed the Vitamix pitcher and we're going to do a cup of mixed nuts. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of each in this cup and that's gonna be the base. We're gonna chop it up in the Vitamix and then next we will add the oats. Turn our Vitamix on and I'm just gonna pulse it at like five. There we go. We've got that and now we're going to add the oats. Bring the oats over here. So we've got the rolled oats beside the Vitamix and we're gonna do five of these. I just like to clean up while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna bring this in the pantry. There. Brought the steel cut oats over. So I'm gonna do one cup of the steel cut oats. Sometimes I just shake it in the middle. I don't like to blend all the oats, but that's kind of the gist of it. So I'm gonna grab a bowl now. We've got a bowl out. I dumped all of the mix in here. See how it's kind of still got some grittiness to it? So you still see a little bit of rolled oats in there. You don't wanna blend it too much, just that. And what we'll do in the blender now is since the flax egg is ready, I'll show you what that looks like flax egg. We're gonna add the pitted dates next. I do, I would say about 10 pitted dates into here and we're going to want to add all of the wet ingredients with the pitted dates. I'm gonna set you down over here while I'm adding the flaxseed egg and then I'm also going to add a half a cup of almond milk. Pulse it. After that's done, it should look like that. You should have little bits of dates in there. We're gonna go over here and dump this into the mixture. I'm gonna have to go grab a spatula and scoop out the rest. You don't wanna waste any. We've got the mixture dumped from the Vitamix into here. Mix it around a little bit. I wanna add another half a cup of almond milk to here. Uh, the reason we don't add the full cup of almond milk while we're mixing is because the dates, they, they'll they end up like turning into a smoothie at that point. You would just wanna pulse it with like a little bit of the milk or else you'll end up with no chunks of dates where you can see there's still a few little chunks here and there in the mixture of dates. Now we're going to add this almond meal in. I would say it's about a cup of almond meal. That was from the almond milk we made. I'm gonna dump that in now. We've got the pumpkin puree here. We're gonna add a half a cup of that. And now we'll mix it around again. I grabbed the peanut butter and I measured a half a cup. So I'm gonna dump this in and mix this as well. Now it's time to add the chia seeds and hemp hearts. So I do two tablespoons of each. I've got the pumpkin seeds out. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of these. I like to add a little bit of maple next. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of the maple syrup. Last thing is the unsweetened coconut. So I'll do a quarter cup of those as well. You can skip that step if you don't like coconut. I should probably work on like my tripod skills, but I'll put you on one of the uh, jars right here and I will add a little bit of the Himalayan salt now. The next thing I'll add is cinnamon. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna mix in that and then I will spread it out on a tray and we'll put it in the oven for baking. Kind of looks like a ball of mush right now, but it will be good, I promise. Mm. 
I've got the trays all filled up. I kind of unbunched a few of the parts. You want to make like big clusters. At least I like the clusters to be bigger. I set the oven to 375, so we're just waiting for that to preheat, and then we're going to stick it in the oven for about a half hour. The oven is preheated, so we'll stick these in, and then we'll come back in 30 minutes when they're done. I just took these out of the oven right now, and I used a fork to turn them. You can see that they're nice and crispy now. They're still a little bit wet, so what I like to do is I'll just turn off the oven. So the oven's off now, and I'll put them back in the oven and just let them dry out a little bit in the hot oven as the oven's cooling down. That'll kind of create like a dehydrator type environment. Or if you have a dehydrator, sometimes I'll take out the dehydrator and I'll put like the flat dehydrator sheets on it. And then I'll just dump the granola on there and run it in the dehydrator for like an hour just to dry it out. Cause I like mine really crispy. Like it's already, I would say the granola is already like pretty crispy, but you want it a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I'm going to pop it in the oven for maybe a half hour and then we'll come back and see what it's like after it's dried out. We hope you liked the video today and thanks for watching. I'll leave the recipe linked down below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on recipe videos that are coming in the future. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.